everybody. I am coming to you today because we are about to start summer. And so depending on when you're listening to this, this is a great thing for you to just realize how important reaching out to your customers is. So would you agree that in the summertime, our lives are a little less structured? If you've got school-aged kids, then you went from a, a routine of Monday through Friday, you know, getting up, doing all this. So my point is, is that if you have not had a routine in connecting with your customers, might I highly suggest that you start one this week? It's pre-Memorial Day. Now is the perfect time to implement all of this and to put this in place. Now, if you're listening to this and it isn't, in the end of May, this still all applies. So don't not listen because it still all applies. But I want to just make sure you guys are aware of this. So let's talk about it's one thing to build a customer base. That's everyone's goal, right? Build new customers. But it's also our goal is to keep the customer. Sorry, I didn't turn my ring light on. And my um, It's going to get dark in here at some point. Hold on one second. All right. So it's one thing you want to grow your customers, right? It's also another thing you want to keep your customers, so what is every woman's favorite topic? Themselves, right? So you're going to want to grab a piece of paper. I'm going to give you a couple ideas. First of all, we definitely want to tap into birthdays. So I'm going to suggest if you have a young adult in your life, hire them to do this because it's not that it's that time consuming, but it would be something you could delegate to a teenager. Or if you have a girlfriend that wants free product, pay her in product. But you want her to go out and text every one of your clients. This is anyone you've facialed. Anyone who ever bought anything, I don't care if she bought one biscotti eyeshadow and that's it, <clears throat> she's still a customer. So every one of them you want to text and say, hey, what day and month is your birthday? And no, I don't need to know the year, like LOL, like if you're texting them. <clears throat> so you want to find out when their birthday is. <clears throat> um, and you want to also ask them if they are on Facebook, what their, what their name is on Facebook. Because oftentimes they'll be on Facebook in a maiden name or whatever. And then once you know that information, then I would text them back and say, I'll be sending you a link to my private VIP page. Now, <clears throat> if you don't have a private VIP page, there is another video I made just on how to create a VIP page. And I'll touch a little bit on that right now. But you want to have a private VIP page. Why? Because it allows you to run specials, promotions, sales, and you can you can ask for things where you can't do that on a public page. Um, it's called a call to action. So if I'm wanting to run a special for Memorial Day, that's like buy a red lipstick at the second one at 40% off or something crazy, then I can't put that on my public page. I can only put that on my private page. All right. So birthdays are really a big deal um, to everybody. Everybody's favorite thing is their birthday, right? So you want to find out their the month of their birthday. You also want to incorporate in your on your um, VIP page the monthly special deals. Even if you just go and post it, you don't want to post a flyer. You want to post the link. So when they click on it, you can say click below to see the video. So when they click on the link for the monthly special deals, it'll show them all the videos that explain the product. So the monthly deals is really important. Here's another fun thing is you could at the very beginning on the first of every month, but you could you could prep this. You know, you can schedule Facebook posts. That's another thing. If you don't know how to do, let me know and I can show you how to schedule Facebook posts. But if you are going to do, let's say it's March or let's say it's May 28th and I have a few minutes, I might sit down and say, what customers do I have that have a June birthday? And I will grab a cute um, Google images of birthday. I might do like, I might type in Google images, happy birthday, gorgeous. And it'll have this beautiful silhouette of a cartoon woman in a gorgeous gown holding a birthday cake or something. And I might put that up there and say, Hap on June 1st. So you schedule it for June 1st. Happy June birthdays too. And then you list Connie Johnson, Shalane Howard, Lenore. So you could literally list your client and, and it'll you can tag them in it so that they're acknowledged, so that they get to have their name appear. Now you might even have customers go, hey, you left me off. It's my birthday. And you're like, I didn't know it was your birthday because maybe they haven't gotten back to you. So nobody likes to be left likes being left out. So birthdays are really fun. You could do it at the very beginning of the month. You can also do specials for bookings. But let's talk about shaking things up a little. So on your VIP page, some of you are really, really good about being diligent and on being on there and posting. But let's be real. We're all busy. And so what I am going to share with you, though, is summer is the most important time when you need to be super consistent with your schedule. Why? Because our lives are the least scheduled during the summer. So I'm going to give you a couple ideas. What if one day a week you did a five and five every week? <clears throat> so it might be this week's five and five is all about eyes. So you might show your favorite eye 
anti-aging eye products. So it might be eye patches, soothing eye gel, repair eye cream, whatever. Then you might do another five and five that's makeup on eyes. And it could be something like hot, hot eye looks. And it could be the liquid eye shadow, the waterproof liner, the lash intensity mascara. It could be whatever five products you want to pick. It's not so much what products you pick. It's the confidence you build doing your five minute presentation. It's the excitement they get seeing you every week doing a five and five. They also will know after about three or four of them, it'll catch on that if they buy one item, I believe it's 5% off. If they buy two items, they get 10% off. If they buy three or more items, they get 15% off. So you can do five, 10, and 15, or you can do 10, 15, and 20, depending on what you want to do. <clears throat> and you you buy it for that week. So it might be like um, if you post, let's say you do your five and fives on Tuesday. So then you might say <clears throat> all specials run Tuesday through Friday. So as long as they reach out to you the day of the five and five or Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, they would be able to get the special. Or you could do it for the day, but not everybody's on Facebook every day. So that's up to you. But what if one day a week you did five and five? Now, let's think about that for a second. What's that going to do to your confidence? I don't know about you, but the first five and five I did, I was like, is this, is, what am I, what am I going to talk about? What am I going to do? And it actually was fun. It was easy. It was not hard. Um, the only thing I did is I wrote my prices down because I was afraid I was going to give the wrong price because some of the prices had changed. But a five and five every week, which is five products in five minutes. You could do a whole theme on hydration. You could say this week's five and five is all about hydration. And maybe you make a cute, a cute thing that says this week's five and five. And it has like a bunch of dots. And then you would just type in one word, hydration, eyes, lips, no wrinkles, whatever. And that is your thumbnail on the video that you're going to post. Now, remember, your clients can go back and see your five and five the week before, the week before, the week before. So it's great for them to see different products. That's how they'll learn. But you could do a five and five every every week. You could do one day of that. You could also every week. So I'm, I'm looking at you wanting to post, let's say, five times in a week. So one day a week could be your five and five. Another day a week could be a Mary Kay video, possibly about the culture of our company. So you know how Mary Kay on our on Mary Kay in touch, we have shareable videos and there's a whole bunch of just Mary Kay, the woman. So when you go into here, you are going to go, um, let me find, okay, hold on. I'm going to screen share this really quick with you guys. So let's say you're wanting to, I, don't, I say steal videos, but you know what I mean? Use videos for Mary Kay. We're going to go to here. Now, uh, shop my party. So now I'm looking for, um, well, let's see, is it under education? It's the video lounge, which is under maybe resources. Mm, I story, Salesforce, uh, compliance, public affairs. Okay, how about business tool? I'm not sure where it is. Oh, uh, video library, there it is. Okay, so it's under business tools. That makes sense. Okay, so let's say you really want, see, I don't know about you, but I want people chasing me. I don't chase people. So I'm thinking, well, what if I just highlighted once a week or maybe a couple times a month, something about the company, about Mary Kay, the woman, so I'm going to go down here. I, first of all, I want it to be a shareable video. So that rules out a whole bunch, right? And then I'm going to ask about ones from the company. Okay. So these are all, it just fits. These are all a minute. These are all under two minutes. Um, and you can use any of these. And they're, they're really fun. And you could do like a gal from Mexico. You could do a gal from, these are all different, uh, all, Poland, Taiwan. They're from all over the place, Hong Kong. So you've got Dinah Polanco. Now she's from the USA, Brazil. So you could use any of these, but I'm just wondering if they have any on the Mary Kay culture. Let me just scroll down here just a little bit. Here's got a gal from China. And you might just want to feature people from the United States. I don't know. That's totally up to you. Here's a really fun, what's your story? That's a really cute one about a girl named Jen. Um, and I'm just, so here's one about if wheels could talk. That's about the Mary Kay Cadillac. That would be really fun. You could literally feature a couple, because these are all one minute, if wheels could talk. It's just a one minute clip all about a pink Cadillac. Now here's some about Mary Kay. Mary Kay's story of courage. Mary Kay's, Mary Kay's, Mary, Mary Kay Ash's life about compassion. Our product promise, our always list. So these are all things that set us apart. When I was talking and I went to a, so look at all these on Mary Kay. They're all, they're way down here, but they are all here. 
Okay. And the reason why I think this is important is because I was just at a seminar uh, workshop outside of Mary Kay. And one of the things they were talking about is what sets you apart from your competition? Well, lots of things, but sometimes our customers don't know all that. So do they know that we have a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee? Do they know that they can exchange or return anything at any time? Do they know that they could try before they buy? Do they know they could have a party? Do they know they could become a consultant? Like, what do they know? So if you did a five and five one day a week, another day you did a video about the culture or maybe a little I story thing, I think it would be fun. And especially if they see the videos under a minute, most people will click because they're curious. Under two minutes, the same. Over two minutes, not so much, all right? Another thing you could do is you could then feature a product video. So now where you go is you go to the same exact place. You're going to go into here, okay? You're going to go, we're going to go way back up here to the top. We're going to go to shareable videos, but we want shareable videos about the product. So you might decide, my gosh, one week I want to feature a charcoal mask. Maybe you want to do makeup tutorials. Maybe your once a week for the summer is literally one of these looks. Brown berry, cool silver haze, smoldering moss, rose gold halo. You could literally feature one of these every single week for the whole summer. Look at how many of these there are. And there's a ton more. Look at all these. But maybe you want to feature a product. Maybe you want to be clinical solutions. What I find is it's fun for you to talk about your experience with the product once you show a video. So let's say you're showing this video on the new hydrating lipstick and it's 40 seconds. Then maybe the next day you go on and say, I love boho plum. And let me tell you why. It's hydrating. It's this go-to plum. It looks beautiful on. Maybe you actually apply it while you're talking about it um, or after you talk about it. Um, but again, it's it's layering things. Here's the thing on silky setting powder. Here's thing. So you can literally go into here. You could even jot down what some of the some of these things are. So here's the body care collection. Here's a pop of pop of pop of color. Here's my, Mary Kay's micellar water. So there's all of these things that have to do with product that again, these are all shareable on your website. Here's a charcoal mask one, which I love this video because it's only 40 seconds long. Okay. So you could show a Mary Kay video. Another great place to find videos on Mary Kay are on Facebook itself. So if you go to Facebook <clears throat> and you go to the Mary Kay website, I'll do this with you super quick. I just want to show you where stuff is. So you go to here and you're going to type up here, Mary Kay. And it's the one with the black logo on it right here. It's this one, Health and Beauty. And it's got like, I don't know, four point, like a gazillion followers. Okay. So now what you're going to do is we're going to click on this and we're going to see what videos have they shown? Because they don't always show videos. Sometimes they just post like, this is perfect. Look at this. How beautiful is that? Don't you want to steal that? I would. I would do a whole thing about the new colors that are out. Look at how gorgeous those colors look on. So I would totally steal that picture, okay? But now we're looking for video. So that is not a video. This is not a video. That's a great picture though. S steal it, steal it, not steal it, borrow it. Okay, so here's a live about Mary Kay New Skincare and it is 16 minutes long. You could post that. I don't know that anyone's gonna watch 16 minutes. Now this one though is less than a minute and it's the new skincare. So now you take this sharing link, you cut, you click on this and you paste this onto your VIP page. So that one's on skincare. Um, and they go over the whole thing on TikTok. Here's everything with eyes, hydrogel eye patches, whatever. Here's another one that is uh, warning, watch out until the end, independent, whatever. Anyway, so somebody's throwing out something old and now they're getting something new. I don't know. We'd have to watch that and see what that is. But here's another makeup video, Mary Kay. And this is using the new product, Sneak Peek, Simple Skincare. And I don't know how long this one is. How long is this? It doesn't, oh, it's a, it's a real, okay, never mind. But you can steal and borrow and share all of these. So you just go on to Mary Kay Facebook. And again, look at all these photos you can use. These are all their digital images and these are all shareable and usable. Here's a video about Mary Kay, the woman. And this was on Mary Kay's birthday. Again, you could share this. How many people even knew it was Mary Kay's birthday? So what this does is this sets you apart from everybody else that does Mary Kay. It also sets you apart from every other cosmetic company. So you could use a company product video. What if once a week you did a personal scoop about you? One thing. So in our unit, we have a thing called the Dynamite Profile of the Month. And if you didn't get to see the amended one, Cecile was our Dynamite Profile of the Month. And so you could once a week post a thing on there, maybe a picture of you, and it will say, um, this could be like scoop about Diane. 
You could just call it scoop about scoop about you. Okay. You could tell them my favorite color and why my favorite color is green. Why? Cause it's tranquil. It's, it's fun. It's peaceful. I don't know my favorite food. What's your favorite food. So each week you could pick a favorite thing. What's your favorite, um, your favorite, your favorite song. What's your favorite movie. What's your favorite quote. People would be surprised to know that you what. And then you might say words that I think my friends would describe me and then use two or three words and say, feel free to add any other words below. And people will input. Again, it's setting you apart. People want to have a relationship with you. They don't want just a transactional Mary Kay consultant who they call or they text. You put the product in a bag, you put some tissue in it, you put it on their porch. They want to know you. They want to know you and they want to know that they matter, that they matter to you. Okay. So, um, the other thing you can also do is, is recognition. So like, let's say, let's say you have a new customer, Susie Smith, and she buys a repair set from you. You can say, um, I'm so excited to have Susie Smith as one of my new repair customers. Susie, um, can't wait to, can't, I, I, I can't wait to have you be in love with the product or something like that. And you tag her in that. So again, you're recognizing people love when they're acknowledged, or you could say, oh my gosh, Karen was the best hostess last night. We had five of our friends and a fabulous party. Thank you, Karen, for being my hostess. And again, you tag her so it can go on her. And you could even go on her Facebook page and tag her and say, thank you for the for having a great party last night. So again, if you guys literally sat down and decided, okay, I'm going to have a schedule for the summer and I'm going to start it this week. And maybe you started on Thursday. And so you're going to go from Thursday to Wednesday. And so maybe you post Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, and that's it. Maybe those are the five days you post. Um, and so then you can sit down and say, okay, so if I'm going to post five days a week, one day I want it to be a five and five. And I would have the same day every week be your five and five. So if you are a Wednesday, you know, wild Wednesday, five and five Wednesday, or you could do fabulous Mondays, five and five, whatever you want to do. But if you did a five and five one day a week, and then you chose a Mary Kay, something about the culture of the company, and it could be a Mary Kay quote. I have a ton of Mary Kay quotes. You can go on Google Images and type in Mary Kay quotes and you could just po post a favorite quote. And I tell people I, I collect quotes and they're inspirational. So you could post something like that. Again, product video. Here's the only thing I'm going to tell you because I had a customer give me feedback. She said to me, this is Sonia Ross. She said, I love the fact that if you talk about charcoal mask on Monday, you continue to talk about that same product throughout the whole week. So I might do a video about charcoal on Monday me wearing the product on Tuesday. And then on Thursday, I might do a company video with a special offer. Now, often you can do something like freebie Friday or super sale Saturday and run a special. So if I do my five and five on Thursdays, then I'm going to run those specials Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So they have three days to take advantage of those. Or you might even do two days because if they get used to Thursday being your five and five day, and they know they only have Thursday and Friday to watch it in order and get the special deal, then they will rise to the occasion. They might miss a few, but then they'll catch on. So it's all about consistency. You guys know with our national, every Wednesday is an event. Every Thursday is a sharing appointment. So you guys know to, to um, expect that and to know that that's coming. Well, wouldn't it be great if your customers had the same thing? And they could be really kept in the loop. You might even do as one of your five and five, you might just do a welcome to the new summer lookbook and hold it up, flip through it and talk about it and say, I'm so excited. The lookbook's finally here. Grab your lookbook, ladies. And if some customer and say, if you didn't get a lookbook from me, please post your name below and I'll reach out to you because you should have gotten a lookbook. So if eight or nine people text you and said, well, I didn't get a book. Did you somehow miss them? Did they, maybe their postmaster never gave it to them. Maybe it got tossed by a spouse or a kid. Who knows? But again, that's something super easy. So you don't have to be like ultra um, creative and be coming up with all the special content every single time, but you can go in and schedule. And that's the last thing I'm going to show you super quick. So let's just go to Facebook. Let's just assume we are using, well, we want, we won't use the mirror king, but I'll just do my um, um, scoop about beauty. <clears throat> okay. So if you guys are not going to do your own VIP page, go ahead and start adding people to the Scoop About Beauty. We have 104 members and I'm going to start going in starting this Wednesday and posting on it every single week. So this is from the Miranda event that was two weeks ago. I need to take that down. So let's say I wanted to schedule something. I literally click on this 
let's say I want to post the event that's tomorrow, right? So I'm going to go in here and, and grab the picture of the event that's tomorrow night. I don't know how much of this you guys can see, but just give me one second. My computer's running super slow. So I'm going to grab the event. Now, the events on Wednesday are always translated. So um, here it is in English. <clears throat> And so that I could schedule this. So, you, so um, well, you can also you can also um, tag people if there's a specific person. Oh my goodness, did I just erase that? No. Okay. So now you're going to go down here where this little calendar is. See this little calendar button? You're going to click on that. I do want it to go out today, so I'm going to put today's date, which is the 21st, and I want it to go out. Let's just say at, well, I guess seven o'clock is as soon as I can do it. So we'll put seven o'clock and say schedule. Now it's gonna schedule at seven o'clock. Now, if you post for the whole week, I don't know if anybody else has this issue, but sometimes I'll go, wait, what did I do? What, what was the third day's event or what was the thing? You can literally go over here and you scroll down to scheduled posts. And if you click on this, it'll say, this is the post you have scheduled, okay? And I'm gonna click on this because I wanna edit this. So I'm just gonna hit edit post and then say, Jump on to see our best eight, oops, best eight products that have earned the good housekeeping seal. And then I'm going to say save. So now that is going to schedule out at seven o'clock tonight. And it makes it super, super easy. So that way you can schedule. So let's say you post that on um, for tonight. And let's say tomorrow you want to do a different post. Then you go back, you go back to your Scoop About Beauty page because you've already got one post. You can click on this, insert a photo, click on the, remember when you do this, how you set the timing is this little calendar down here. Okay, and you can do a couple in a day, you can do one a day, you can do whatever you want. But that really helps you with the summer, especially if you've got vacations planned and stuff to do. Okay, but I'll tell you guys, your customers are going to be looking for consistency from you. And they they really need that to be able to feel like they can really connect with you. And it really makes you referable too. And you might ask them and say, oh my gosh, Cecile, I love having you on here. Do you have any girlfriends that, that would like to be added? And you can add girlfriends to it. They might just go, I want to jump on because you could say on your... Who wants to jump on my virtual spa event? I can send packets to you. Someone might say, I haven't had a facial in years. I want to join. You just never know. But I'm not here to tell you guys have to have a VIP page. Maybe you're more of an Instagram girl, which is fine. But I am going to tell you, be consistent, especially with summer. Have a routine. But I honestly will tell you, I would highly, highly suggest every week you do a five and five. And I bet tonight at the meeting, we could probably brainstorm and come up with 20 topics for five and fives. It could be the five newest products. It could be five things with sunscreen in them. Could be, which would be primer, day defender, mineral sunblock, uh, um, repair with the, with the sunscreen. Uh, CC cream's got sunscreen. So you could come up with five products that have SPF in them. Men's moisturizer. So you literally could pick all kinds of different topics, but a five and five is gonna put you out there it's going to make you real. When I was doing a lot of lives and I was screwing up and I was dropping things, then once I bent over to do it and I hit my head and I came up and I was kind of laughing, my customers thought that was hysterical. They're like, oh my God, I love that video where you hit your head. And it's like, okay, well, I'm glad you all are entertained. But again, it makes you real and it makes them feel like your job is easy and you want to expose them to as many products as possible. And you might even see on every five and five, Feel free to scroll down to see the five and five I did last week, the week before, the week before that, the week before that, and you can encourage them. And you can say to them, normally a five and five is the minute you watch it, but I'm giving you guys 48 hours from this five and five. So if you post it on Thursday morning, they have all Thursday, all of Friday to take advantage of the specials and then it's gone. I mean, you can leave the video up at the sale price, the, the special discounts are gone. Does that make sense? Okay, I hope this. I hope you guys found this helpful. I would highly suggest doing a VIP page and you can link it to Instagram. So when you post on Instagram, it automatically syncs it 
to your Facebook page. So that way you're killing two birds with one stone. All right. Hope you guys found this helpful.